form, that's where it's good to have um, some more training in terms of a formalized someone who can, uh, if you've got a personal trainer or someone who has been doing it for a while that can kind of help you out in the gym. Someone like me would come in saying, okay, here's, here's the proper way to do a bench press or an arm, you know, bicep curl, or how do we want to do a squat or a lat pull down? There's different ways that you have to, you know, and most people go in honestly, and you have these people with the new year's resolutions. It's new year's. I'm going to drop 20 pounds. I'm going to the gym. And that whole month of January, the gyms are crowded. And then by February it falls off. Memberships went through the roof, go through the roof. And I think the statistic is less than 10% will keep up with that diet after three weeks at that training. But people will go in, they'll just look and watch others. They'll emulate and they'll start doing what others do. Problem is they're doing the same mistakes that other people are doing that don't know how to do it correctly. You know, a perfect example is I, I, when I'm at the gym all the time, and I, I'm not kidding you, I can probably find 80 to 90% of people as I'm looking around, I can fix something in their exercise. And that's me, uh, that includes me as well. But I'll watch people and I'm like, yeah. And there's times if I see someone that looks like they're, they're hurting themselves, like they're going to tear something, I will say to them, you know what, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I want you need to adjust this. You're going to pull a muscle. You're going to tear something if you keep it this way. And they're very appreciative. But I, but for most people, I just kind of leave them alone unless somebody will ask me. But a, a most common one is people do seated upright rows. You're sitting down on a bench and you got the cable in front of you. Then you're just, you're doing the rows. And constantly I see people just kind of sway and back and forth when they're trying to pull it and they're not doing anything. And I try to tell them, they go, you sit straight up, keep your back stiff, you know, I mean, straight up. And you're only reach, the only thing moving is your elbows. You're not moving your waist. Your elbows come out, your shoulders come out of position to stretch, and then you pull back into your waist. You keep things tight, and you go back, you go forth. You're not rocking back and forth, and I see that all the time. And a lot of people do what's called ego lifting. They'll come in, I can lift this much weight. I don't care how much weight you can lift. I can care less. I can make five pounds feel like 100 pounds to you. It doesn't make a difference to me. Your body doesn't care. Your, your brain sees the number on the weight that sees five pounds. Your body just wants to know what the stimulus is. Man, that's 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 harder than I thought. And I make you go slower or I make you hold it or contract. And they, there's a, uh, they talk, they call it a time under tension. That's what activates the muscle. So an example would be is if some, you'll see people that work out and they go real fast in their weights. You know, I'm going to curl my weights real fast and I'm done. It's not doing anything. It's nice, slow, controlled, contract, ex, you know, and then full extension, contract again. The longer it's, if it's taking you three to five seconds to do that movement, that's called time under tension. Under tension, now you are stimulating that muscle. Now that muscle is like, I got to work, I got to work, I got to work. And the longer, the more seconds you go, the deeper the fibers you're going to get. Now if I'm going seven seconds, eight, it's going to hurt. Then that's where that five pounds I said will hurt as opposed to 50 pounds. People that go real fast are using momentum. Momentum's not getting you anything. You might as well just stay home at that point. Now you're going nice, slow contraction motion movements, whether it's, you know, your shoulders, your arms, your chest. Well, you know what I'm thinking as you're talking? What I'm thinking about is, um, and I have to assume this is for many people, they spend the time, okay? And mm -hmm. many people are, they're like, hey, I, I spend the time. I spend an hour every day, mm -hmm. all right? And there's probably a lot of people that yes. do that. But how much more effective would it be if they were doing it correctly because i'm listening to you and i'm thinking i'm just applying some of the stuff you say into my own regiment and i'm thinking i don't know if i do it quite like right. that and i could be exercising the same amount of yes. time mm -hmm. and probably getting yep. more out of it and i guess that's the value of a coach right 